Welcome back to another video. What you're getting ready to see is how to customize your spiral. Turn a regular spiral that looks like this into this. You could do this for business as well as for pleasure. And just to let you see, this is the spiral on the inside. A couple other spirals that were done for customers, you could see how you can design them here. So before you get into this video, you know the house rules. I need for you to make sure that you like, share, comment, as well as subscribe to this channel. Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. What we're getting ready to learn to do is how to make spirals. So this is just a quick way on how to do it. Um, I know it is summertime and you're not thinking about school, but if you just want to have some cute spirals for yourself to decorate instead of these um store-bought spirals so i'm just making sure that everything is done so the items that you will need is of course you would need a spiral open that up you would need laminated sheets you will need a hole puncher of your choice that will punch the holes of the spiral in there you will need to have some coils you would need to have a wire cutter as well as, I'm going to say a jewelry, it's something you do with the jewelry, the way you're able to twist it. You would need a laminating machine, a printer, and of course a computer. So um, in another video, I will show you how to design them, but right now I'm just showing you how to put it together. So while I'm waiting on my laminating machine to go ahead and heat up and the light just came on, you're simply going to get your laminated sheet. Oops, two of these. They're too thick. You're just going to get your laminated sheet. Make sure that it's no holes or anything in there and you're just going to feed it into the machine so while that's feeding in the machine you're going to take off your coil the store block coils and you will actually use this and you're just going to take it off And that's just to pull it on both ends. Use your wire cutter and you're going to cut. Be careful with these because you, you want to make sure when you cut it, you cut it in a trash can because you do not want that in your foot. So you're just gonna simply just twist it on out. And I still have, it's coming out of the machine. We can cut it off. And in the description below, I will be able to tell you where the items were purchased. It doesn't take long. You don't have to chop it up. This is what it's going to look like. Uh oh, can you see it? Okay. So the next step is you're going to separate just the front page. You're going to leave the page, the regular pages together. Okay. So I'm going to move this here. This is another item you will need. And this is just to cut if you don't want to use scissors. 
and you will just simply size it up like this. You will just size it up and you're gonna cut. So, I think I wanna leave some of the white on there, on the back. So I'm just going to line it up and I'm going to cut. Yes, you can cut with the laminated sheets on there. That's not gonna be a problem. sizing it up to make sure that it's right and and it is I think I want to leave this a little bit blue maybe leave a little bit white out also use these lines as your as your guide. Then of course you do not want to leave none of the laminated on your on your spiral. Okay, let's see. There it is. The shining white. Okay. So let's line it up and it is So it wants me to go ahead and cut all the white off. So we're gonna be obedient and do that. Okay, so now that we have this done, we can move this out the way. Always recheck. And that's that. So what you're getting ready to do is put this here what these holes are for, it should line up with these holes here. And let's do, you wanna make sure that's level right, and it is. So you wanna put your paper in there, just like that. Make sure it's all the way in the back, all the way at the front, and you just wanna do the level like that. Okay. So we're gonna get the paper that we took off and we're just going to put it together like this. We're gonna get the coils and we're just going to put it in just like that. You can do it with the machine, but for me, it's faster with my hands. You can do it with what machine, baby? With the my binding machine, you can do any type of journal cutting machine. So you can braid that with that machine? Yeah. I think you should show the people how to do that. <laughs> Uh, I guess that'll be another video. That'll be another video. We're just going to do some quick cutting. And I think these co uh, coils come in different colors. I like black. It's just my preference. Baby, don't step on, step your feet on that. That one is being stubborn. Okay. So now you have the cut. So you're gonna take the ends and you are just going to twist it. That's it, just twist it in there good and tight. Twist it in there good and tight.
sometimes they want to be a little stubborn, but they want to act like somebody that's behind the camera, but hey. And voila, that is your spiral. Can you see that? Yes, I can. That's your spiral. A cute way for you to decorate your spiral. You can turn this into this. Okay, so we'll see you later.